it's the saturday wrap the first saturday wrap for 2024 and greetings to the chief from the centenarian or something like that anyway um if you haven't seen this before me burbling on about the previous week there's tech there might be some sport there might be some i'm just moaning on about things there's definitely some weather maybe some politics who knows anyway so i'm trying to cut down on time and failing badly so the word or phrase of the week surprisingly 2024 related happy new year everyone wishes you a happy new year not a lot of people actually mean it and to be perfectly honest it's very much like 2023 it's only probably half or two-thirds of the way through the year you can decide whether or not it is a happy new year I'm just a miserable git, so I don't really care. Anyway, the word or phrase, oh, I've done that. Uh, the app of the week is Discord, a multi platform started off as a gamer's way of chatting and having conversations, and like a bulletin board, now practically on everything. Um, there are tons of boards out there. There are lots of them that relate to podcasts, that's how I get into them. It's on an electron app most of the time so it's a bit slow um but i love it and i have it running all the time despite the fact it needs patching and patching and patching discord d-i-s-c-o-r-d anyway um the thing of the week well tuesday it was going well all of a sudden amber wind warning storm henk Named by the UK Met Office. I don't know where Henk came from, whether it's Dutch or Danish or American, but it's certainly not British. And I think we got away with it quite likely, although it was rather blowy. Not keen on storms. We seem to have a lot of them. Um, the song of the week. Uh, this goes back a long, long time. Um, it's from a band called Pilot, and the song is called January sick and tired you mean something on me yeah it's all rather crap <laughs> um but i do remember that because january not my favorite month mind you neither is february okay so um starting last saturday yeah uh new year's spreadsheets you know the finance ones the saving ones the all over the case ones not keen on them to be perfectly honest but they need to be done and you need to know how much money you've got or more correctly haven't got and um after that i was uh, building my new podcast device uh iphone 2022 se3 yeah i wish there was a three and a half millimeter headphone jack on there instead of just a lightning port i know yeah bluetooth headset or earbuds but I'm not really that keen and they need charging up all the time but it's working a treat and uh so is the libara sim i put into it uh it's a lot faster i think the sound quality is a lot better to be perfectly honest i'm pleased um right um sunday new year's eve um a wet and windy end to the year and of course i ignored it <laughs> ignored it like the wind woke up around midnight because podcast download and um a couple of fireworks but yeah no not at all monday continue on with the spreadsheets a new year much like the old year something like that anyway um although i did book a vino yeah tomorrow mb01 importers head for ces i can't get to las vegas i can't afford it and um it's not in my golden two-hour journey time um silence calling will be good um tuesday morning a lottery win a grand total of a fiver but it's a positive start it really is a positive start wednesday flooding luckily um not round here so much uh, but it did look like the taff was going to go across the river bank and into annis and harrod park it didn't by the way um thursday in the tumble 1927 which was the year that cardiff city won the fa cup from glamorgan brewery um hoppy lots of different hops um, it's okay it's not outstanding but it's not bad 
Um, not bad being a positive thing. I liked it. And today, the start of winter high pressure weather. So whether or not we'll have frost to start off MBO1 2024 tomorrow or not is a bit up in the air at the moment. Um, but there's no rain. Rain. Uh, the wind is down and there was blue sky. Had washing on the line and it mostly dried. So that was my week. How was your week? Uh, comments are most welcome. Anyway, um, yeah, 100 years old. Bye-bye.